Sunday, May 14, The Judgment, Creation, and Accountability If we were merely a collection of randomly formed cells, simply the product of chance and an advanced African ape, nothing more, then life has little meaning. Clawing at one another for living space on a planet called Earth, life loses its purpose other than mere survival. In contrast, the biblical creation provides a reason to live and a moral imperative for living. We have been created by God and are accountable to him for our actions. The one who made us holds us responsible. He has established absolutes even in a world of moral relativism. Read Revelation 14 verse 7, saying with a loud voice, Fear God and give glory to him, for the hour of his judgment is come, and worship him that made heaven and earth and the sea and the fountains of waters. Romans 14 verse 10, But why dost thou judge thy brother? Or why dost thou set at naught thy brother? For we shall all stand before the judgment seat of Christ. And James 2 verses 8 to 13. If ye fulfill the royal law according to the scripture, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself, ye do well. But if ye have respect to persons, ye commit sin, and are convinced of the law as transgressors. For whosoever shall keep the whole law, and yet offend in one point, he is guilty of all. For he that said, Do not commit adultery, said also, Do not kill. Now if thou commit no adultery, yet if thou kill, thou art become a transgressor of the law. So speak ye, and so do, as they that shall be judged by the law of liberty. For he shall have judgment without mercy that hath shown no mercy, and mercy rejoiceth against judgment. What does judgment imply about issues such as accountability and responsibility? How are the judgment, the commandments of God, and worship linked? The messages of the three angels flying in mid-air in Revelation 14 announces that the hour of his judgment has come, Revelation 14:7. Since we were created by God with the capacity to make moral choices, we are responsible for the decisions we make. If we were merely a random collection of cells, products of our heredity and environment only, our actions would largely be determined by forces over which we had no control. But judgment implies moral responsibility. In this crisis hour of Earth's history, the Judgment Hour, God calls us to make decisions in the light of eternity. The first angel's earnest appeal to worship him who made heaven and earth, the sea and springs of water, acknowledges that the basis of all worship is the fact that we were created by God. Meanwhile, our adherence to the seventh-day Sabbath demonstrates our belief that Jesus is worthy to be worshipped as our Creator. It reveals our acceptance of His Ten Commandment law as divinely inspired principles for living life to the fullest. Because the law is the foundation of God's government and a revelation of His character, it becomes the standard of judgment. Our faithfulness to the Sabbath commandment is acknowledgement of our commitment to live obedient lives. How does our understanding of creation influence our behavior? What relationship does heredity and environment have to the choices we make daily? How can we, by God's grace, overcome character defects that we didn't choose to have in the first place?